Good morning friends and welcome to the pre-market view. US markets were marginally up about 0.2%, there are no major data points. European markets were up anyway from 0.5 to almost about 1.75%. Uh, we have an important ECB meet coming up today and the expectations are that uh, there is going to be a bond buying in the tune of about $50 billion a month and uh, if that continues for about a year, that would mean that uh, there is going to be a QE to the tune of almost about $600 billion. So that event is uh, scheduled today, so watch out for plenty of action from the Eurozone. And Asian markets today morning, uh, Nikkei is marginally down, most of the other markets are up anywhere from 0.3 to almost about 0.5%. As this Nifty is also suggesting that we are going to open up about 35 points. and. Uh, in terms of flows, after a long time, we have seen spectacular flows by the FIs into the cash market and they bought more than about 2,050 odd crore. However, domestic institutions were sellers to the tune of almost about 1,375 odd crore. And in the index futures, FIs were buyers to the tune of almost about 580 odd <coughs> crore. Overall, sentiment continues to be good, the scaling new highs and is backed by strong flows into our markets. So overall sentiment continues to be positive, but since we have an important event like ECB meet, uh, there could be a bit of a caution ahead of that. Uh, so we advise uh, uh, investors to accumulate the stocks on any possible correction in the run-up uh, to that particular event and the result season eventually. On that note, let me invite Tarang to take us through important FNOs and ideas that we can have from the FNOs. Good morning friends, uh, let's have a view on derivatives. Uh, in yesterday's market we have seen due to positive cues from US and Asian markets. We have started the uh, day with a positive bias and later on we have been higher uh, due to gains in many, uh, due, to, due to gains in sectors like banking and financial, oil and gas, uh, metals, uh, reality and uh, information technology and pharma sector. Uh, we managed to close 0.24% uh, higher at 8738.50. Now the open interest terms, we have seen 3.5% uh, increase in open interest, that is around 8.5 lakh shares were added in open interest. From the last 4 to 5 trading session, we have seen con constantly building in open interest, that is long position has been uh, getting added and that too uh, by the stronger hand of the market participants, uh, which is a positive sign for the market. However, the, as we are coming uh, near by the expiry, we are seeing premium has been decreasing and so do the cost of carry have been going down. Uh, it, uh, the premium of the Nifty have gone down significantly from around 21 points to 10 odd points. Now uh, this is uh, just due to as we are coming nearby to the expiry and the cost of carry have also decreased from 9% to 4 percentage. Uh, the put call ratio uh, which is uh, which have increased 0.01 basis that is 1 basis point from 1.32 to 1.33 levels. Now the bull run we do expect uh, put call ratio can go to 1.5, 1.6 level and then only we will consider as a overbought zone. Uh, till that time 1.5, 1.6 is not there, we won't consider Nifty is at the overbought level. Uh, Indian volatility index have been, uh, uh, since we have been reaching a new lifetime high in yesterday's trading session also we registered an all time closing lifetime high. Of course volatility index due to the lot of skepticism in the market will go higher and we do expect in the coming trading session volatility index to move higher. In yesterday's trading session it was up by 2.5% to 17.71 levels. Uh, the options activity, uh, interesting point in the call options, uh, it was like uh, there was no respite for the call writers since we have seen one sided movement in market, uh, on the upward momentum in market in last one week or so. Uh, hence we have seen at the money and uh, all of the in the money options, call options has been significant amount of uh, reduction in open interest. However, they are, uh, since call writers have been skeptical, they want to be safe and hence they are going deep out of the money, uh, going and shorting deep out of the money strike price. And 9000 and 8900 call option are also quite active. However, 8700 still remains as the highest in terms of open interest uh, and, uh, uh, and have seen some kind of reduction in yesterday's trading session of 10 odd percent days. And 8900 and 9000 has seen maximum build up in, in yesterday's trading session of around 10 to 15 odd percent days each. While input the option, we continue to see significant amount of build up <coughs> since uh, uh, last 4 to 5 trading session. It, uh, after 8400 and 500 since good amount of uh, uh, position getting added uh, we have not, uh, now started seeing 8600 and 700 being quite active in terms of uh, uh, open interest we have seen around 30 percentage in 8700 put option 
and 8600 put option uh, has seen a build up of 23 odd percentage. Now uh, this can be seen as a mix of long and short both since we have come uh, quite uh, high from uh, from the from last four to five trading session and uh, market participants are hedging their positions by buying put options in the last couple of trading sessions. There is one securities in bank period for today's trade that is HDIL. On FIS terms, there have been constantly net buyers in index futures. In yesterday's trading session, also we have seen uh, net bar. there were net buyers of around 490 odd crores, and with the open interest of index futures going up of FIS of around 700 percentage, indicating a good amount of long positions has been created by index, uh, by FIS in index futures. Uh, in index options, there were net sellers of 344 crores. In stock futures, there were net buyers of 115 crores. Now they have been buying in both the segments, in cash market segment and stock futures. So it's uh, naked buying by them in uh, both the segments. And in stock options, uh, there were net buyers of 40 or crores. Uh, five days we have stands at 8,600 uh, with a lower range at 8,600 and higher range we see at 8,800. Isaac's is trading positive and we might see a positive opening for the market in today's trade also. Is for Isaac's Nifty is positive by 33 odd points to 8,776. Thank you, that concludes from my side. Friends, uh, let me take you through share count pre-market action. So starting with trading ideas, first the long call on LNT Finance as it reported good set of numbers for the recent quarters. The Fed grew at almost about 66% to 182 crore. The asset quality has remained stable, so one can go long there with stop loss of 67.4, a target of about 73 to about 75. Bharti uh, negative development as the government uh, dismisses the sale of additional 3D spectrum in 2015 which actually was to be freed by the defense but as of now uh, there is a possibility that this may not come through which could be a bit of a negative for Bharti so one can shop that one with a stop loss of 373.8 and a target of about 362 to about 358 Century Ply came out with a very good set of numbers yesterday uh, net profit came in at about 41.4 crore versus about 19.7 uh, crore and uh, the top line also grew at about 25.8%. So one can go long on century ply with a stop loss of 188.4 and target of about 198 to about 202. Spice Jet's uh, revival plan has hit the roadblock as uh, some of the aircraft leasing companies have, uh, uh, have been pulling out their jets uh, from uh, Spice Jet. Uh, and uh, the government uh, starts process to divest about 10% in NMDC. And that could fetch them close to about 5,500 crore. Uh, the road projects worth about 50,000 crore are likely to start in UP at December end, and that's a big positive for some of the road developers like IRP, IRNFS Transport, Ashoka, Bitcoin, Sagbao Engineering, and Gayatri projects. And Maruti Suzuki and Lloyd Electric have signed an as on air sponsors of the Cricket World Cup, which is likely to happen in Australia and New Zealand. Companies which will be announcing numbers today. Uh, Supreme Industries, we are looking at a net profit of about 60 crore. V Mart, we are looking at a net profit of about 18.3 crore. And Kane Energy, we are looking at a net profit of about 1654 crore. Here is a list of uh, stocks for positive and negative buyers. Stocks for positive buyers are Tata Motors, DVR, Can Bank, and Fugusan Zinc. Stocks with negative buyers are Z and SKS Micro. And the stocks for investment that we like at this point of time are LNT, Yes Bank, Taramont DBR, Infosys, and Max India. That's it from all of us, friends. Have a great trading session. See you tomorrow at the same time.